Today we're gonna to be talking about fine line finger tattoos, the most popular tattoo in recent history. And a lot of people ask me about them and I always have to be honest with people. The amount of people that want to get them and the amount of people that are happy with them is so disproportionate, right? Tons of people want it, very few are stoked about the tattoos that they get after they get them. So let's talk about these TikToks and get into it. Okay, we have this in between the finger tattoo. You're gonna notice I got tons of ink on my hands. Dude, I work in a tattoo shop. I was working with a printer all day and it's been a pain in my ass. So sorry about my dirty, gross hands, but it might help me point some things out. Okay, the side of the finger, absolutely hate this tattoo for the average person. The reason being, tattoos tend to fall out or blow out. And the amount of people who are happy with their tattoos on the side of the finger is like four. Four percent of people who get it are happy with them. Now, that does not mean I don't think that they're cool for the right person, but the average person who has very few tattoos and they want to get the side of the finger because it's been such a popular tattoo, I feel like no one's happy with. And this is a perfect example of that type of tattoo. It's cute, it's dainty, it looks great when it was first done. Like you could see those little bitties floating off. It's cool, like I understand why you would want this, but I guarantee if you saw this particular tattoo healed, you'd be like, I don't even see the damn thing. It would just look like a couple smudges. And I bet you this tattoo hurt, probably the person regrets getting it. If they don't, I'd be blown away. But I also want to mention, this is a promotion for this lotion-y cream thing. And I hate that a company that is supposed to be looking out for people getting tattooed, like they're supposed to be creating products that make tattooing better, are promoting a tattoo like this because their cream makes the tattoo look so nice. I hate it. If they were a company that was for tattooing, they would know, don't highlight tattoos that we know will never look like this when they're healed. But that's not what they're here for. They're here to make money. This cream makes that tattoo look good. So a lot of new tattooers are gonna go get it because they need to use it for their social media. That's just the reality of it. And it does drive me a little crazy that they exist and that they do that. I'm gonna mention that, but we're gonna keep going. Finger tattoos, why you probably don't want one. You sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? I love this comedian, he is so good, but I wanna talk more about the finger tattoos that we're able to see here, especially this dagger. You might be wondering why finger tattoos don't look that good here. And to be honest, I couldn't really tell you. I mean, I'm sure someone is giving some sort of idea or saying something about why a tattoo never looks like, who knows. But anytime anyone approaches these finger tattoos and tries to do something real delicate and fine, they almost always fall out. Like I said, I know a handful of tattooers who do a really good job of doing really delicate, crazy ideas on fingers. I also know that a lot of the times they have to do touch-ups or a lot of times the tattoo just doesn't look that good at the end of the day. You know, the chances of the tattoo looking good in two weeks isn't that high and the chances of it looking good in 10 years is definitely not high. And like looking at a tattoo like this with this like really delicate, nice three or five going down the finger and then like you have the it all meeting on the top knuckle, it's like that tattoo's not gonna look good. And if it does look good, this person has like just the best finger skin that heals the tattoo very good. Cause you do that eight times out of 10, it's gonna look like crap. It's either gonna blow out or it's gonna fall out. That is just the nature of it. Like the perfect example is this crescent moon circle, crescent moon thing on the bottom knuckle of the pinky. And you could tell that does not look as good as that, right? And that's a healed tattoo. You're seeing what a healed tattoo on a finger looks like in contrast to what it looks like freshly done. Now, I'm not saying that the same tattooer did that tattoo, but I'm gonna guess that their style hasn't changed that much. And you could see the quality of the, that tattoo is not really good. And 
that's no dog on the artist. It's just the way the spot heals. If you're okay with having kind of okay crappy tattoos on your fingers, run it. Do it all day long, put stuff on your fingers, it's not a big deal. But if you're gonna be like, ooh, I hate the way this looks, finger tattoos aren't for you. They're just not. Okay, this is what happens. This is how it goes. What looks like a pretty clean finger tattoo, if I saw it in person, freshly done, I'd be like, that's fallen out. I could probably tell, but the average person probably wouldn't notice anything about it. It looks like a good tattoo, right? Decent straight lines, dirt, decent curve. It's all good. Let's see how it heals. Falling out and it's gone. That's what happens. Tattoos there, two weeks later, it's gone. Finger tattoos. Oh, the joy of, of doing them. Now I found a bunch of people talking about finger tattoos and how they do finger tattoos. And I noticed that a lot of them were talking about touch-ups like they were no big deal. They aren't that big of a deal. But to me, if you're promoting a tattoo and you're saying that touch-ups are just a part of it, I don't think the tattoo is applied that well. And I know that might be controversial because a lot of tattoo styles say, oh, touch-ups are not a big deal. That's part of getting a tattoo. If you're getting a color portrait, oh, you might have to get a touch-up. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, this fine line, delicate thing. If you have to get a touch-up, not that big of a deal. I personally disagree with that. I think that if a tattoo style needs to get touched up and we're not talking about huge, massive things because you're doing so much work and you might have to touch up a few spots in the ear and there. If we're talking about like little things that have to get touched up, I don't think it's a great tattoo. I don't think it's a great tattoo style if that's how it's promoted. I just don't. Sue me. I like for tattoos to be one and done. And if a tattooer can't do that in one go, then break it up into two sessions. Start the tattoo, finish the tattoo. Not finish the tattoo, do touch-ups because you really didn't finish the tattoo or you hammered it in or you didn't go deep enough. I just, I don't like touch-ups. I don't like making my client have to come back and deal with me another time. I can count on one hand how many times I've had to do touch-ups in the last, I don't know, three years. And that's not because I don't do touch-ups or I'll say no to touch-ups. It's because I personally believe as a tattooer, it's my responsibility to get the shit done one time. We're gonna hear a few artists say that touch-ups are just normal. So let's hear. Also, no shame on these people, but they're putting out TikToks. We're gonna comment on them, okay? I get lots of questions about finger tattoos and what they look like after the healing process is complete. This so this is exactly what we're talking about. This is two weeks healed. This is what finger tattoos look like the majority of the time if you're doing these fine line delicate things. I don't know, personally, if I had this on my hand, I'd be like, I hate this. Personally, that's what I would say. This is about two weeks healed and every single person that comes in for ornamental finger tattoos, I recommend that they come back in within the next two weeks after healing, um, just so that we can reinstate them and put them back. I've never heard someone use the word reinstate a tattoo. I'm not gonna use that term ever, but that seems so bizarre to me. Maybe these fine line people are using that term to justify why they need to do a touch up on a tattoo. But I definitely feel like looking at this tattoo, those lines are not very good and they probably should have not done these tattoos. And I don't think that the client's gonna be very happy with them. If they are happy with them, forgive me. You love your tattoos, that's fine. But these tattoos all fell out. They all look bad. And then they were reinstated and then they still look bad. Now they, now they look like super heavy and kind of janky looking. You know, it's just part of finger tattoos. They're hard to do, but then don't do them. Put this stuff on like, the wrist and it would be perfect. It would be a perfectly fine tattoo and it would last longer. It would look nicer, but man, people do this stuff and I'm like, I hate it. Okay, so we just had an example of tattoos on fingers fall out. This is an example of tattoos on the finger blowing out. And you're gonna be like, well, that's definitely not good either. And that's my point. That's what they were starting with, which is crazy to me. That is a really bad stencil um, for finger tattoos, it looks like they're doing some drawing on type of stuff. 
That's a bold move. I like to draw on fingers, but I'm doing like, you know, words across the knuckles, not like tiny. The chances of this looking good is really unlikely, uh, but they're going for it. Look, we're gonna zoom in on this sun after rain. Clearly, it's not a good tattoo. And it was a tattoo that probably was never gonna look good, but that isn't well executed. There it is, that's all, that's the truth. Then this is it healed. Let's look at the after on the finger and you'll see that, that A, the space in the, between the crossbar and the peak of the A touching. The F, the two lines going across horizontal, touching. The E fell out. The R, the circle up here, almost touching. And that is because the tattoo is blown out and those lines that should have been like, let's say that they were done with a tight five, are now looking like a seven, a nine, something along those lines, and they're just making for a bad tattoo. If you ask me, I'd prefer to have the tattoo that fell out like, like the other TikTok that we were talking about, but this isn't much better. It's just not. Okay, now personally, the end result, you could tell was probably done better than the other fine line stuff we saw. Okay, we just watched that and something's popping into my head. I feel like when a fine line tattooer who's doing like single needle, this is what I do. I put words on people's hands and single needle. When they do the first tattoo, they're like, oh, let's do it super light, super delicate, and then it'll fall away. And then the next time I see them in a month or two or whenever they get the touch up, then they'll be so happy that the tattoo's actually there and it doesn't look like it's single needle anymore. Now it looks like a three. I'm just like, do the tattoo right the first time and maybe don't pull out a single needle for things that you could do with the three. Single needles are pointless for the average tattooer because if you're having to pull out a single needle to do lettering, it's too small. And I'm, I work at a walk-in shop. We do fine line stuff all the time, but I also don't get the privilege of doing touch-ups. People fly in, they fly out. And when they come back to me and I see that I tattoo, it has to be perfect or else they spent six months to a year since their last trip to Mexico with a bad tattoo. I don't like it when I see tattooers who are just doing fine line stuff to get them out the door, to get a photo, knowing that it's gonna probably fall out. Let's look at the one on the, on the wrist. That tattoo looks like it was done with a tight five now. That fine line look, it's there technically, but it's not like the fine, fine single needle type of look people are going for. I know, I know. I want them to work out too. I want the finest, most delicate, cute tattoos you can think of. I want them too. I'm not sure they exist. And if they do exist, that means that artist did a great job or your body is really perfect for this type of tattoo and yada, 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 yada. The vast majority of people who get single needle tattoos or single needle tattoos aren't that happy. And they end up putting a big old traditional panther over them, or they should. But yeah, let me know if you like this video. I hope you found it informative. If you want a single needle finger tattoo, I'd ask you, beg of you, go to someone who's extremely qualified in that space. They have healed tattoos posted consistently on their Instagram or wherever you can find them. So you can see what the tattoo will probably look like, but understand you're taking a risk and maybe the single needle tattoo would be better off anywhere else than your hand. Please, I beg of you. Have a good one, I'll see you in a few days.